Hi, my name is Brandi Healy, Retail Special Projects Manager here at Relax the Back. When we talk about getting your best night's rest, we think about sleep hygiene. And one of the key components to good sleep hygiene is a great fitting pillow. So today we're gonna to have Dave who's here for a pillow fitting, and we're gonna talk you through some of the things to look for when selecting your perfect pillow. So Dave, we're gonna have you come on over. And we have a pillow here already that we'll be using, but before we get started, I'm going to ask Dave, what is your preferred sleep position? On the side. On the side? All right, so we'll have you start there by laying on your side. And with any pillow, what we're looking for is to make sure that that pillow is giving you an aligned, neutral posture in your preferred sleep position throughout the night. So with Dave being a side sleeper, what we wanna look for is that his forehead and chin are in a straight line and that they are lined up with the sternum. So before I take a peek at that, I'm gonna make a slight adjustment to the pillow here. I'm gonna take the front of the pillow and I'm gonna pull it slightly forward and make sure that that pillow is all the way lined up with his shoulders. So go ahead and relax your head there. How does that feel? Feels good. So when I take a look, I can see that Dave's forehead is slightly higher than his chin. So I'm going to give him a second option that is the same pillow with a higher loft, which means it's going to be a little bit thicker. So I'm going to grab this pillow back behind us here. And Dave, if I can have you lift your head, I'm going to switch these out for you. So same adjustment here. I'm gonna have him lift his head slightly. I'm gonna pull it all the way to his shoulder, pull it slightly forward. Now, how does that feel? That feels much better. So by giving him a pillow with a thicker loft, we are taking up more of that space between the mattress and his shoulder, so that way that his head is level. So when I go ahead and I come down and I take a peek, it looks like his forehead and his chin are lined up with his sternum. So most of us tend to be side sleepers. That's the majority of the population. The second most popular sleep position is going to be back sleeping. And even as a side sleeper, oftentimes we'll make adjustments throughout the night. So utilizing the same pillow, I'm going to have Dave roll over onto his back here. And this time I'm gonna pull that pillow so that it goes all the way to the edge of the shoulders. So in a back sleeping position, same thing. We wanna to look to see that the forehead is lined up with the chin. So Dave's chin looks slightly lower. So I'm going to try a, an alternative pillow. We're gonna try a neck pillow here. So with a neck pillow, you'll notice that the shape is slightly different from a standard pillow. The front side has this bolster piece that has a higher loft. We get a divot here in the pillow for the head, and then the back is a little bit lower. So we're gonna go ahead and switch these out. So Dave, if you can lift your head, I'm gonna slide this neck pillow here. And again, we'll make the adjustment to bring the pillow all the way to the edge of the shoulders and allow for the head back to drop back into the divot. This bolster is now elevating the neck so that we get that natural curve in the cervical spine. That's going to allow for to, a nice clear airway to make for easier breathing. And if you have anyone that's a snorer, that can help reduce snoring. So how does that feel? Huge improvement, it's good. Great. So knowing that Dave is a side sleeper, this pillow can also be utilized in a side lying position. So why don't you go ahead and roll over. And again, we're gonna bring that pillow down and slightly forward. How does that feel? Great. So we're still doing the same thing. That bolster is being utilized to elevate the neck, support the cervical spine, and then the head is dropping down into that divot. 
So the next thing that you want to think about is the fabric of the pillow. So we have options in terms of if you tend to sleep hot or not, you can opt for a standard texture on the outside or something like this that has a cooling fabric in it. So Dave, are you a hot sleeper? Oh yeah. <laughs> So a cooling option where we have cooling fibers that are woven into the fabric, this pillow is actually cool to the touch. And pillows will all um, utilize either a cooling thread or sometimes a gel insert as well. So the last posture that people tend to sleep in is going to be on their stomachs. So for stomach sleepers, I recommend a softer pillow with a lower loft and a filling that allows for more compression. So if you take a look here, when I squeeze my hands together, that pillow is going to get nice and flat. And the reason that we want that ability to compress is so that when you are lying on your stomach, that it's not elevating the forehead too high to cause extension in the neck. So. A few things to look for. Again, the most important things are to remember that we want to know what our preferred sleeping posture is and that the pillow that we select is keeping our head and neck in a neutral alignment. So ears lined up with the shoulder, chin lined up with the sternum. So hopefully that'll help you make some selections for your next pillow or we'll see you in a store to come get a pillow fitting either in person or you can book a virtual appointment online. If you have questions or comments, drop them below. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure that you do so so that you can catch more of our videos as they come out.